Hey guys, welcome to another QPython 3 tutorial. Now in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about global and local variables. Now what a global variable is, is that it's a variable that when you make, it affects your whole script, your whole program, or whatever you're working on in Python. But a local variable only affects a set of your script or program, like a function or maybe a class. So when making a global variable, it affects your whole script, as well as a local variable affects just a part. So now let's make a variable or let's make a function so we can show you how this works. Now let's define a function and let's use the name test and let's just use our parentheses and head to the next line. Now once you make your function, you just run your function like saying something like uh, print, uh, let's just say return and maybe it says um, x, return x plus 3. Now we know that we've made a variable outside of this and it should work fine. Now what this return value does, in case you guys don't know, is that it's a value or it's a... What do they even call it? It's a keyword in Python that helps you return values. You know how the print statement helps you print values? This return value helps you return values. You know, when you add 5 plus 5, it gives you 10. but Unlike the print statement, it doesn't print it out for you. It just saves it in your scripts and says that the answer is sent, but it doesn't run and print it out. So when you make a return value and you still want to print it out, you have to use the print statement and run it through the function. So you have to say print. What am I doing? Print and then open your parentheses and then put the name of the function and then open the parentheses and then close it up. Now this right here is name of the function as you can see here in this part. And this is just the opening and closing parentheses. So once I have saved this code and run it, I get my whole function printed out for me. And I'm really sick guys, so please leave a like and subscribe to this channel. Yeah, it gives me the number 10. Now when we try to make something like, um, let's say, we try to do something like maybe, um, x plus equals to 5 and you try to save this and run notice what happens it gives us an error it says unbound local error local variable x refers before assignment now this is just a bunch of crap english and i'm going to break it down for you guys now we've made a variable outside this and if we don't make the variable inside of this function, Python is going to read that this is not a global variable. So for this to work, all we have to do is that we need to come down here and say global x. Now since we've said that this variable x is now a global variable, Python reads that this can be allowed everywhere in our function, in our program, in our class, or whatever we're working on. Now let's save this and let's run and see the output. Nice, our program now works fine with no problem and works really, really good. Now, if you still want to use this without using this global, you can also make a variable inside of this place and then say something like, uh, let's say, allow, let's do something like allow value equals to x. And then we could say something like uh, allow underscore val plus equals to 5 and this should work fine but instead of going through all this long journey crap writing all this stuff over and over again it's kind of annoying so all we need to do is use the global and it should work very fine for us now that'll be all for the tutorial guys hope you guys enjoy it as usual leave a like subscribe comment and your name might be in my next tutorial i'll see you guys it's this one